uh, during the creation of Bitcoin Town, like the day that it's founded, the day that we actually decide to sit down and uh, decide whose whose plots are where and everything, and the day that everything is decided, basically, we're going to sit down and uh, we will either uh, plan or we will sit there and draft right there a constitution. Uh, if we plan a constitution, what will happen is everybody decide what they think should be in it, and then so the, uh, somebody will be de designated to write the constitution, kind of how like the Sons of Liberty designated Thomas Jefferson to go write the constitution, and he came back with it after two nights of not sleeping, I, I believe is what it was. Uh, he, he wrote it out for the, that long, and then uh, he came back to them with it, and they all agreed with it and then signed it. We will either do it that way, or we will all sit for the two days that it takes to actually write it out ourselves and all of us will sit and do it if we choose to, to do it that way uh but uh we will have a town constitution so that uh, there will no there will be no personal freedoms infringed on that we do not agree can be infringed on because we do plan on treating the uh the the property like a household it will be where uh it's not it's not where uh the the law of the land runs the runs the property though we will be following laws it's not like you can start a coke farm and uh, a brothel that's not what this is but it's going to be more, run more like a household to where your 14 year old could drive a car down to the store for you and it wouldn't be an issue but like kind of how like you could have your your 14 year old drive down to the barn to go put the horses into the stable you know, like it, it's not it's not going to be run as if we're living in a town separate from one another we are going to run it as if it is a single household and a single property because it is we, we plan on being a single property that is becomes a town we do not want to be a town that is on this property we want to be uh, a town and a uh, uh, I'll get deeper into this later, but part of it is we want to uh, really get deep into the idea of it takes a village to raise a child because I believe that is a big thing and, and like that is ignored today in the world. Today in the world, everybody – I'll make more videos about this, but this is a small getting into it. Uh, but today in the world, people believe that uh, they need to get a house. They need to keep everybody else out of it. They need to put stuff in it, and they need to make a family in it. But that's not what you need to do. What you need to do is you need to get a house. You need to meet your neighbors. You need to put a family in your house as you meet, uh, make as your as your neighbors make families, and then you need to grow together and raise each other's children. It doesn't need to be where your your child can't walk down the street for fear of somebody grabbing them or maybe a van being doing whatever. There needs to be a sense of uh, of uh, security no matter what no matter what's going on because we need a we we, we need we need a community where everybody knows everybody. Everybody. And it could, your, your kid could be on the other mile because we're going to try to buy two square miles at least, at least two square miles of land. So your child could be on the other ha other side of the two square miles and be completely safe because someone on that property knows your child, knows whose child it is, and knows that they will protect that child because they do not want their community harmed and that child is part of their community. That is the kind of uh, – uh, uh, essence that we want to uh, build and promote in our community. That's the that's the uh, that's the kind of feeling we want. It takes a village to raise a child. I believe that, and I believe that it needs to be a, a well known, uh, a well known and well used uh, philosophy. So uh, we will be doing that. Uh, that's just we will be writing a town constitution, and everybody uh, th there will be freedoms that will not be infringed on, and there will be plenty of freedom in this town. It, it's not going to be a town where you can do whatever you want. They will, we, will, we will abide by the laws of New Mexico and the laws of America. The laws of New Mexico are actually not that harsh, though. You could you could actually, if you wanted to, you could walk in Chick-fil-A with a gun in your hands. It's, it's, it, it's not a problem as long as you are not threateningly pointing it at anyone. That is, that's the thing. We have the right to bear arms, but we do not have the right to threaten people with our arms. So uh, it, it's, it's going to be a a, a free town. We are. We will have rules, though, where we you can't just go around doing stupid things. This isn't a town of murder or robbery or anything like that. There will be order, but we will not be focusing on order as a as a business. That is the, that is the big difference between this town and most towns. Order and justice will not be a business for us. Our business will be service to the community. The, the government will be there to serve you. It will not be there to try to make money off of you. That that that's not what it's there for. It's that that. Uh, 
that this town government will be there for your service. If you don't think that somebody in town, like if, if everybody in town agrees that somebody shouldn't go to jail and shouldn't get in trouble for something, that's the way the, the, the judicial system and the executive branch will decide on that issue. The, in, in the end, the people have the final say of everything. And, and, and somebody might reply saying, well, there's such thing as petitions and you can just go petition and that's in that you can already do that in America. But no, that's not true. Most petitions, you can go to your county clerk, you can call your county clerk right now. Most petitions are ignored. If Much more than 50% of petitions are ignored and most petitions don't even get the required signatures. So that's not even true. So uh, our, our property will have a, 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 a petition system, not petition system, but it will work like a petition system where everybody gets a say and uh, in the end, a, the majority does get the final vote and but this, the Constitution cannot be broken. We will make uh, individual freedoms because sometimes the majority does decide to infringe on the freedoms of the individual, but we will uh, make sure that that is uh, a non-issue by uh, forming a constitution on the day that we divvy up the land or uh, having someone write a constitution the day that we divvy up the land. So uh, that will be uh, something that is uh, settled at the very beginning. There will uh, be no need to worry about any of that.